Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video of the Zookeeper's Guide. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Steam Workshop and how to upload blueprints and use blueprints in Planet Zoo. I hope you guys enjoy this video of the Zookeeper's Guide. If you want to, hit the subscribe button and that let me know that you guys want more videos like this. So let's get started. Alright, so let's say you're building building a zoo. So this is the current zoo I'm kind of working on right now. A lot of this built right here is built upon some inspiration and quite a lot of hours of kind of thinking through. But if you want quick access to quick builds and you don't want to spend the hassle time, let's say you're just having a lazy day and you don't want to build much. So you want to access blueprints. So you'll have blueprints that are all labeled here. So I have hundreds upon hundreds of blueprints already downloaded. So the quick way you can access that is by hitting shift and tab. And that automatically opens your Steam on your desktop. I'm going to be very intrigued how this will come into play with the console edition. But once we get there, we will figure that out. So once you hit shift and tab, it will open up your Steam. All you want to do is if you're not on the workshop, you want to come down to this bottom menu right here and hit hover over this like wrench. So that will be your Steam workshop. And that will pop open your Steam workshop. And there you go. The world is your oyster. So if you're coming looking for inspiration, maybe for this maybe this fancy stone gate like that looks great and I will probably end up using that and you want to hit subscribe so if you hit subscribe you're not like subscribing to the person but you're subscribing to the build so you'll be able to place this build it downloads the build and automatically throws it into your game so I will show you exactly so hit shift tab again or you can hit the top left X on there so after downloading that I'm gonna come down here to the blueprint on the bottom and search for steam workshop builds so it might take us a bit to kind of find but what you can do is shift tab again and then look for the description so so here we got our fantasy stone gate and a lot of blueprints a lot of people build them with null barriers but you can easily place this down and take out the null barriers so what you want to do is usually a lot of the builds will come hover to hover against the surface maybe I should get a flatter piece of terrain going rotate that and hit X on your keyboard bring it down that'll lower it all the way to the ground and you can place it as you require it to be so just until everything is kind of touching the ground and that looks great so place it down and it'll place on its own and what you can do is go over to the barriers tab and basically just start right clicking on everything that's the null barriers and so so a lot what I do is for the scenery, I've started to build my very own bit of scenery and buildings. Um, but if you have lazy days like I do and just want to have quick blueprints to build something spectacular like this, because I think this would be something that would take me a long time to build. So there you go. That is a quick type on how to use the blueprints as well as if I think I'm missing a topic here. So there's also the topic of building and uploading your own blueprints so what we're gonna want to do is come to the construction tab I'm gonna build a quick fence and show you guys how to do this so just a simple fence post piece like this what you're gonna want to do is come about to the bottom hit the multi select highlight and drag over it you're gonna want to come to merge scenery into a group and that's gonna make it as one post even if you don't want to post it it's as easy as just doing that so you want to come here say save as blueprint so I have a lot of blueprints going as ready I haven't uploaded much of them but I want to go new blueprint and this is gonna just take a generic picture of your design I usually try to get like an up close picture of it as good as possible and then it will give you an in-game price for it and then just give it a title um, let's say log African fence that works and maybe a description a african style fence made out of logs and totem totem poles so basically i use some totem poles and some logs generic and then you're going to come down to the blueprint tags and for something like a fence you're going to want to come either to zoo entrances or a habitat so basically a habitat will be a good blueprint to use you can use other as well so anything that just generically just sits nice 
so i'll basically also do like see other scenery and then you can also do species tags if it, if it pertains to a specific animal so then what you want to come do is create blueprint that is going to create a blueprint for you so your fence is on your blueprints right here so what you want to do is come to the blueprints tab come over just above the steam workshop my blueprints my blueprints it's not gonna load i don't know why because oh, I, I have so basically you want to just clear, make sure you clear your search bar so find your design come over here so log fence it's gonna give me my design to upload this you're gonna hover over it and it'll give you a steam workshop icon so click on that to upload to steam click new steam upload basically name the same thing again african log fence um a african style fence made out, out of logs and totem poles i spelled poles wrong all right um there you go so that's gonna basically be and you're gonna hit create workshop item it's gonna do everything on its own upload to steam and there you got it your upload is on the steam workshop it usually takes the analysis team team to kind of go through it and make sure that she it's legit and then again if you guys want to download my builds in the future just hit the subscribe button and it'll download straight to your game if you guys found this very useful i appreciate i appreciate all the support and everything that's going on in the videos and if you guys found this useful hit the like button and i'll catch you guys in the very next video thanks for watching this video on zoo keepers guide i'll catch you guys later peace out stay positive